It's the Nia's world Vlogs plus she got reactions You should see this girl Going up she never lacking It's the Nia you see her Bringing flames man what Gotta shout out T gang Stand up stand up What is up with my gang? What is up with my squad? T gang in this thing. What's popping with y'all? What's up T gang? Welcome back to my channel. So today your girl be doing something a little bit different on my channel. Some of y'all may know I do be checking out like three horror stories or like something that's something crazy scary horrifying you know. But I did actually have somebody which their comment will be on the screen. Um, they asked me to check, start checking out animated ones, and I was like, oh, sweet, what you? I didn't even know they had animated ones. So when you told me that, I was like, oh, snap, smash the like button, comment something you want to see below. Comment some more stuff by them, this channel, and then there is another channel. But if there, if y'all know some more channels, put your girl on. Also, subscribe, click the bell, join the gang. If you're new, then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but up. But we're gonna check this video out, so I'm about to be checking out Disturbing True Snapchat Stories Animated, okay? Now, all of us know what Snapchat is. I done checked all my ages on who subscribed and how old y'all live. We all is in that generation of Snapchat was at one point in life about to probably take over Instagram. We all know what Snapchat is, so we're gonna check this out. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't want no no craziness because we talking about snapchat and you know stuff be disappearing on snap after 24 hours so see got the freaking snapchat already i hope this, this is... happened a week ago oh snaps up until a few days ago i went to a small local gym in my now previous new jersey town called black bear fitness one day, I had the misfortune of running into some skinny, awkward, yet creepy-looking kid, probably 18 years old. He didn't look like he belonged in a gym at all. I had headphones in and I was doing my set when I heard him saying something to me, but it was muffled by the music. I was already annoyed with this kid, given that he was breaking an unwritten rule of the gym. Don't try to talk to somebody when they're doing their sets. I took my time finishing my set and then Well, my... how? What kind? That's messed up. Cuz what if you like what if what if it's my first time going to this gym and I don't know I'm doing something wrong, but I don't want to be interrupted. Now you about to be sitting there doing something wrong until you stop and somebody can talk to you. That's got to be the dumbest rule. I was about to ask if he needed something. Then he started acting like I looked familiar, but right away I knew this kid was just trying some pathetic attempt at making friends. I assured him I didn't, but the kid wouldn't stop talking to me. I'll skip most of the conversation, but eventually he actually asked me for my Instagram and Snapchat, weirdly enough, and for whatever reason I gave them to him. Instead of just saying something like, buddy, I'm trying to work out, or I don't have social media. I After used that I gave before. Him my Snapchat and Instagram, however, I did kind of urge him to let me resume my workout. He finally seemed to get the message and walked away. Not without saying bye like three times though. That night I got a snap on my phone saying from Sean. I immediately sighed and said oh no. <laughs> Just wondering why the hell the kid would snap me. I opened the snap and the kid was in a creepy weird pose. Face way too close to the camera with his head resting in his hand and a half smile on his face. See, see, th this could go a whole bunch of different directions. Like, we, we do know about the LGBTQ. Plus, I did my research in high school. You should be glad. I'm not gonna lie, my teacher at the time, he was he was a part of that community. And he was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was like, oh, that's for you. I, you know, we there. This this is that generation where that's that's that could play a part. He could just be weird. I hate to use that word, but they're, like, see, I know I'm weird. But I'm not that weird. That that's 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 like a form of something's going on in your head, buddy. Like, see, it could go a whole bunch of different directions. Now, based off the title of this video, I don't think we're going in the the LGBTQ plus community. We're somewhere in this whole weird situation. I don't, I'm not getting like he like dudes, but you never know with these these stories. You never know. I'm not gonna lie. Talking about my teacher made me miss him. That was my, I, you know, I didn't. We wasn't. We didn't start off cool. We didn't have the best of 
we was not the best of friends until literally I was about to graduate and that was that was my freaking that was my teacher. I know I go back up to my freaking high school. Like, what's that? Are you like, what's that? Oh, that we go. Okay. We're going to see exactly where Sean is trying to take things. Next over the picture was Hay with two Y's. Mm -mm. Aw. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> For the record, I'm a guy, which made this even more weird. My thought process was I've had enough of this loser already. I'm gonna remove him and make it clear I don't want to talk if I He called him a loser. I said weird. Now y'all let me know which one seems worse. Cause I think loser, that's just that's that's rude. He met the gym that's again. Rude. And so I did. I removed him minutes after he sent that snap. I'm sure not even a minute later, again a message popped up on my phone saying Snapchat from Sean. I waited a few minutes before opening it. This one was even creepier. Now the kid was sitting up on his bed. No smile, more of a surprised, angry expression. The text over the image said, Why did you remove me? Now I went as far as to block him, meaning he couldn't snap me anymore. That was that. I threw my phone on the desk and sighed out of relief. He better find a new gym. He talking about I blocked him. Half an mm -hmm. hour later, my phone goes off, saying Sean added you as a friend, and then Snapchat from Sean. He actually made a new account. Oh, oh God. I opened the snap and felt my heart drop. <gasps> it was a picture of my front. Oh, uh-uh. You got to freaking move. I mean, the, you got to first handle the situation first. You got to, you got to, you know, you, like I said, one of my T Grizzly reactions, I don't condone violence, but in this sense, you, you I mean, that's, you ain't got really much of a choice. But this is, this is the steps he needs to take right now. Violence, move. That's it. So my question is, <laughs> how did you, sir, get my address? Well, shoot, how the world did he freaking, you know, so, I mean, not gonna lie, sometimes GPS do give you, get you a little confused, and you'd be like, wait, you're saying I'm at my destination, but where? Where is my destination? Because I don't see it. This boy just pulled up on him like he already knew where he was. Like, what if what if he thought that was the right address and he took a picture and that wasn't the right address? Now you definitely look creepy for taking a picture of somebody. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know what I would do. I don't even know how I would approach this situation. Like, what are you supposed to do? Open the door and be like, hey, Sean, I apologize for removing you and blocking you on your first account. And now you didn't found my my snap with a new account. I'm sorry, Sean. Come in. I I make you a cup of tea, or you want some water or something. Like, what? How do you you? Or call the cops. I don't know. I don't even know at this point. The text over it. Ooh. Answer me, bitch. Oh. The first thing I could think of was, how did he find my address? Then I realized Snapchat made that new map feature that lets you. Oh. I'd be forgetting about that. Oh. Somehow uh -uh. I had uh -uh. the to open the window to see outside. Whew. It was clear out there. I shut the window and mm -hmm. the blinds and started considering calling 911. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the sound of taps on the window. Mm -hmm. I took a deep breath and with one swift motion, I pulled up the blind and the window at the same time and pulled the kid into my room by his neck. I punched him in the face a few times before he was out cold. I thought he was now at the door. I called 911. By the time they arrived, he was awake, cursing me out, promising he'd be back and kill me. The cops heard it all. I didn't even have to make a case. The kid was an idiot. Luckily, the timing of this worked out well, because I just moved a couple days ago out of state. Only thing that worries me, I don't want to have to make a new Snapchat account, but anytime somebody new adds me on the app, I'll never know if it's secretly that Sean kid again. You know you should not be closing your eyes talking about Sean is on the hunt for you, sir. I don't even know your freaking name, but what in the... Telling y'all, not gonna lie, it, it literally slightly of what happened in this story happened to me literally like a month ago. <laughs> it wasn't on Snap, that's the crazy part. But literally when he said I removed him and then he messaged him again and then you know, he freaking had to block him. I literally just went through that. 
that's what's freaking crazy right now like that and that's another reason why i said i try to put myself in other people's position because i was literally there like a month ago that was the most scariest i was like what is going on you gotta you gotta be cautious now nowadays and we clearly didn't learn that in this video my question is what exactly was the issue with the dude like if he met if the dude sean met him in the gym what attracted him to that dude that's my question that's the only thing i'm kind of like unless he seemed like a cool dude and sean was probably like a, a nerd or some, somebody that's like real quiet and to himself and he probably was like oh snaps he seems cool i could be his friend and he started freaking being messed up and was freaking what do you say if you called him a loser i wouldn't call him no loser i'm telling y'all now told y'all in freaking high school my high school almost got shot up and that same dude that was about to shoot my high school up had told me in middle school he had liked me i was about to play the whole entire hey i like you too i just I'm scared you gotta you gotta think about the future and sometimes you you gotta do what you gotta do i, I wouldn't have called him no loser i don't know if he really said he was a loser or if that was just a part of the little script but i you know but i'm not gonna lie the person that actually asked me to start reacting to the animated ones you might be on to something you might be on to something smash the like button comment something you want to see below comment some more stuff that they have other channels have other horror story type of things you know let me know in the comments also subscribe click the bell join the gang if you're new then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but up Definitely follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore is Tania's world. But until next time, member is T Gang or No Gang. We out. <laughs>